Cleared to continue, Cincinnati's last abortion clinic will stay open. The state gave it the green light just a few hours ago. Nine on your side's John Genovese is now joining us live from the clinic in Mount Auburn with the state's decision and why there was so much uncertainty and what critics have to say now. John. Tanya, the director of Planned Parenthood, says without a lawsuit, this decision may never have happened. This clinic was on the brink of closure after what he calls a catch-22. Now they're dropping their lawsuit and they're cleared to stay open. Some closure from the state preventing closure for the last abortion clinic left in Cincinnati. We were delighted because we think this is the decision that the Ohio Department of Health should have made 14 months ago. Planned Parenthood now granted a variance to keep the Elizabeth Campbell Surgical Center in Mount Auburn open. The facility carries out around 2,500 abortions a year. It ensures that safe and legal abortion is still going to be available. The facility had an agreement with UC Medical Center, but new laws prevent public hospitals from working with abortion providers. They say you, re you need a transfer agreement with a hospital if you're operating an ambulatory surgical facility. And then they prohibit public hospitals from entering, entering into uh, a transfer agreement with an abortion provider. After filing a lawsuit, the state has now granted their request for an exception. We actually have four doctors now, all of whom have been Admitting privileges at Christ Hospital. But not everyone is pleased. Abortion is not health care. It does not serve women and it's lethal for their unborn babies. Paula Westwood is executive director of the local Right to Life chapter. This is politics and we often see when a lawsuit is involved, um, there's some bullet. It's almost like being bullied. The government often backs away. Every week she demonstrates and prays outside the facility, something she says no matter what will continue. We're not going to end. Just like with slavery, this is unjust. These people, unborn and unborn, deserve the right to life, and we will work for that. Now that variance will stay in effect until May of next year. It will need to be renewed annually. We did reach out to the Ohio Department of Health. They say they review each request on a case-by-case -case basis, but declined to talk about this situation specifically. For now, reporting live, John Genovese, 9 on your side.